New research from the Grattan Institute reveals the degrees that could leave you jobless. Science and it are the courses business people and politicians tell students to study, but they just might be blinding them with science. Only half of those who graduated with science degrees in 2015 found full-time employment within four months, 17% below the average for all university graduates. The Grattan Institute's Mapping Australian Higher Education 2016 report found. They found it a struggle to find work when compared to fellow students in other science, technology, engineering and maths, STEM, disciplines. And despite increasing demand for STEM skills, IT graduates also have patchy prospects in the job marks. The findings have prompted a warning from one of the report's authors, Andrew Norton, that extra courses might be needed to increase graduates' job chances. Students thinking about studying science need to know that a bachelor science degree is high risk for finding a job, he said. Often students need to do another degree to improve their employment prospects. The report added that while recent science graduates struggle early on in the jobs marker things improve over time. For 2011 bachelor degree science graduates, their full-time employment rate four months later was 65%, but three years later, in 2014, 82% of those who were looking for full-time work had found it, the report notes. While this is a considerable increase, it is below the 89% rate for all graduates. The early employment prospects fly in the face of the demand for science courses, which continues to grow, and the number of science graduates is up, with more than, graduating annually minus a year more than in 2009. If graduates also seem unable to take full advantage of job growth in the IT industry, while there is no shortage of IT jobs relative to the number of graduates, IT students still find the going tough initially, with a third of recent graduates unable to get full-time work. The report says that s due to weaknesses in IT university education, and strong competition from a globalized IT labor force. Engineering jobs are in decline, but new engineers have good job prospects compared to other graduates. And overall, despite the slower moves from university to career, the report found unemployment rate for all graduates remains low. Over their working lives, graduates on average earn significantly more than people who finish their education at year 12. The median male with a bachelor degree will earn $1.4 million more over his lifetime compared to the median male with no higher education past year 12. For women, the figure is just under $1 million. Other findings in the report, which is based on unit record data from the household, income and labor dynamics in Australia, Hilda, survey were. For domestic students, humanities and commerce are still the most popular fields of study, health and science enrollments have the fastest growth. Graduates with bachelor degrees in health, Education and law had the highest rate of professional and managerial employment, all above 80%. The most common average mark reported by students is between 70 and 79%, with domestic students doing better than international students.